Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jetta TV. I'm J11. This is Football Manager 2022. The Youth for Kenneth Chen said with Bira Ma. We are about to start our 13th season at the club, our second in the top flight. And after last year surviving, we know financially we're going to be good, especially after we secure that TV deal at the end of last season. So that's good for sponsorship, but you're realizing something. You've only got 495,000. Where's the money gone? Well, I've made an investment. I've convinced the board to upgrade our training facilities, which hopefully will mean they'll be up to great again. And if we can get our training facilities upgraded again, that'd be nice. Next step would be to get the youth facilities upgraded as well. Whether I can do that this year or next year, I don't know. But youth facilities should also be upgraded for better intakes. And that's exciting. We also have more things happening. We got approached by the USA to become their national team manager. And I'm going to be honest, this came out of the blue. The World Cups just happened. And I wasn't expecting the USA to suddenly say, oh, by the way, we want you to take over our national team. Unfortunately, because of the fact that we're doing this challenge, we can't take over the national team until after we've completed the challenge. So after we've won the Champions League and the top flight of Portugal, we can't take any other job, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. And it's not the end of the world, really. Speaking of the World Cup, France just won it, beating Italy in the final. But there was a third place playoff that I was a bit surprised by. And it was Ireland beating Brazil. Yes, Brazil literally got beaten by Ireland in the third place playoff of the World Cup. Which is Ireland's best of a finish. And it continues Brazil's drought of not finishing the top three of the World Cup. From when they last won it in 2002. So Brazil's five... World Cup wins is still there. Germany are still at five as well. Italy is still at four. So it's one of those interesting situations where anything's happening. And I don't know why all this is happening. But it's entertaining to say the least. Currently, we are expected to finish in 18th place in the league. Because why wouldn't we? The three teams that came up, Vazim, Nacional, and Morenz, are all expected to be struggling. We've got Gil Vicente in the cup. We've beat Gil Vicente. And we got four points off Gil Vicente in the league last year. Now, I know they probably have strengthened in their team. But honestly, I like to think my team is now pretty good. To the point that it's not going to be a walkover every game, hopefully. And I look at the bottom eight teams, or the seven teams above us, and I think they're all winnable games. Given we also held Benfica to a draw twice last year, I like to think we're good. Also, we haven't got the worst sponsorship anymore. we got 2.3 million coming in. And that, for me, tells me that, yes, we are growing ourselves as an entity and as a market and we are still quite far off from Della's record because they actually now got double the sponsor that Porto do so Tom Della are being run very well it seems it's unbelievable when you think about it isn't it I've also just realized we're only a quarter of the way into 14 club the Porto Gals sponsor which is actually kind of exciting but at the same time it makes me wonder what can I do to improve our sponsorship apart from winning games and being successful and game cup competitions still we do actually have the fourth biggest team in the country and actually i never realized this until now apparently our stadium is used for international games sometimes so maybe that's a thing that helps us who knows but i'm excited because we've got a good stadium and we can if we can sell it out every week that's a lot of money being brought in again this year and that's what helped us out financially last year as well so I'm now looking at this and I'm wondering what we could do. We have a team that can do good things. I just hope we can actually produce the goods. Especially when our decision making is 12th. Our first touch is 14th, yes. And our passing is 16th and our strength is 18th. But work rate third, teamwork fourth, leadership 12th. And we've got fifth in the aggression. We've got something here. We need to make absolute good use of what we have. Goalkeeper wise, yes, our kicking is only 16th. Our reflex is only 9th. Hand is only 11th. Error reach is only 14th. Command of the is only 14th as well. One on ones is still 9th. Our throwing is only 9th. And we've got only the 14th best agility. But it could be worse. It could be our defense. I'm going to be honest with you, it was actually worse than this before. So the fact we let some players go on loan might have actually improved it. But worse tackling, worse heading, 16th best jumping reach, worse marking, 17th best positioning, worse strength. Worst pace, 16th best acceleration, so we're not very good defensively. Midfield-wise, we're actually 16th in passing, we're 7th in long shots, we're 16th in vision, we are the worst in stamina, we are the 5th in teamwork, thankfully, but our tackling is only 15th. 
our technique is ninth, as is our decision making. So finishing is only 16, which is not ideal. Long shots is still 7, so that's good. We have the worst heading. We have the 15th best jumping reach. We have the 15th best anticipation. The worst off the ball skills. The worst pace. And the worst acceleration. So we need to work on a few things here. Physicals. Yeah, physicals not great. We're worse in agility. We're worse in acceleration. We're only the 16th best in balance. We're the worst in jumping reach. We're the worst in natural fitness. We're the worst in pace. We're the worst in stamina. And we are the worst in strength. At least our mentals are better. Aggression being 5th. Anticipation only 17th though. Bravery only 17th as well. As our, and our composure is only 13th. We've also got the worst concentration. We have the 12th best decision making. The 11th best determination. 12th best flair. 12th best leadership. The 13th best off the ball which is still rather low though. The 16th best positioning. The 4th best teamwork thankfully. Unfortunately we've only got the 16th best vision. And our work rate is still quite high being third. While technique corners is 7th. Crossing is 8th. Dribbling is 16th. Finishing is 8th. First touch is 14th. Three kicks is 7th. We have the worst heading. We're the 11th best for long shots. We're the 13th best for long throws. We have the 15th best marking. The 16th best passing. 14th best penalty taking. The 17th best tackling. And the 7th best technique. So we need to work on a few things. So we're going to take on Gio Vicente and we're going to try and win this game because I want to actually see if we can beat a team that we could beat in the league and they are going to be productive in the situation, you know? So yeah, it's going to be exciting to say the least and we're going to hope to win. They want to make two changes and two of the changes you're going to be surprised by. So this is our lineup for today and there's a face you haven't seen before in the first team, but I'm going to show you anyway. Sunday Pereira starts in goal. He's got 6,000 in wages now. We've got the release clause of 1.8 million to teams in the Champions League. So I doubt anyone's going to really try and guess him now. We've got Trofino as the right back. He's just keeping the spot again. He is improving as well, which is very useful. Lasker starts as a centre back. I don't think he's really good enough for the vision yet, which is a bit concerning. But physicals, the average, that's good. It's better than being terrible. It's just a shame that Esteban Otero is actually better in the physicals. Apart from the strength and the acceleration. Because his jumping rate, despite being only 5'9", is 11. And fitness of 15 is good. But he needs to work on other things. He's not to the level we need to be right now. Amadou starts. I know I probably shouldn't start him. But he is going to get first in football. He is going to prove. And I think we can do more of him. Others, I think he's good enough for division. He may not feel like it at times. But he's a player that I can trust in the midfield. Same with Luis Santos. Physicals, he's very much bang average there, but he's a well-rounded player. I trust him to do good things for me. With the Ventura, if he improves and becomes as good as I think he can be, we've got a player on our hands that can do a good thing. I'm going to try and improve his finishing because he needs to improve that. But honestly, if he improves that and some of his mentals, he's going to be an absolute workhorse for us. We just need to improve his work rate and his natural fitness, and he might be amazing. And Tunis... I think will be his last season here. I'm just going to say this here now. I think this will be his last year really in the first team as a starter. We've got young talent coming through. We need to give them first team football. Will Pope will be the deep line forward. He has been there for years. He's also the vice captain. He's not amazing. I think his mentals is really where he's strongest in, which is why I think the deep line forward on support is where he's best at. And I think, yeah, that's why the deep line forward really suits him. Yes, his strength doesn't work for it, but... He gets full whenever possible. I'm going to try and get rid of that trait actually. But I feel like he's a player that can do good things for us. And his long shots as well being 14 is very useful. We're also going to try and start Alex Boateng. Now this might be a stupid move. But he's 16. He's 2 star ability. Is he good enough to start every game? No. But Quintana can only play 45 minutes. And I thought to myself. Alex Boateng looks like a player that could be a nuisance in the future. If we improve his mentals. Improve his finishing and improve his dribbling. And get into the level of his physicals. We could be having a very exciting young striker. He's both footed. Which is very good. Fairly strong on the left. Very strong on the right. If we can get him to be as good as I think we can get him to be. Then he could be exciting. Also we've got the likes of Fortes on the bench. Who could, who's could, who got potential to do better and better. Casares is on the bench. He's just a backup goalkeeper. Ribeiro is on the bench. And I feel like can, he can do a good thing. He just needs to actually improve and not be, just be a one-trick pony. Gary Williams is on his way out due to a loan bid, but I'm going to give him some first-team football now. 
he could be an inverted wing for us. He just needs to improve. Max Torres is the reason why I'm looking at the Torres and I'm thinking, we've got someone who can replace him here. Now, he's not amazing in the physicals. He can improve that. But first team football, training better, getting the facilities being improved as well. That will help our players get better. And I think going forward, we've got a young talent who could be very exciting for us on the left side. Even if he's probably better as a midfielder right now. And of course, Quintinero being Quintinero, top goal scorer for the last three years. Very good talent. Is he amazing? No. I think we need to replace him in the future, but his composure of 16 is very useful. Even if his finishing is only 8, we're going to try and improve his finishing because I think that can be better. And if his physicals can improve as well, it's even better for us. You just don't trust him to head anything because he's not good at heading. Also, Rafa Soon is on the bench and we hopefully can improve him as well. Giving him competition with Amadou is going to be useful and I think having two left backs who can compete is good for us in the long term. And good in on the bench as well because right backs, it's good competition for Trofino if Trofino starts to do badly. Either way, let's get going. Let's hope we can win, shall we? Okay, we've got a corner. Ventura's taking it. We actually changed some of our stuff for our corners. And we have a goal. Bruno Laskus gets the opening goal. I actually made a point to work on my set pieces. And I like to think that five minutes in, we've already paid the dividends for actually working my set pieces. Ventura being the corner kick taker is very good. And the in-swingers are still very powerful indeed. 1-0. What can we do? Don't lose it, for goodness sake. Luis Santos and Tunes can play the cross. Has got people in the middle to work towards. Oh, what a ball that is. That was a very exciting little ball, but didn't work. Luis Santos just wide. Okay. Here we are now. Bertang. And Tunis loses out, actually. It's a bit disappointing that, that Tunis has lost out again. His camera. Now Carrera. Now Matt Amato. Moreo. Moreira, sorry, on the ball. We need to defend this. And, oh, it's just over the camera. All right, so we need to do some bits and pieces. Salvador, okay. That's just not got to that, apparently. I don't know how he's not got to it, but there you go. Uh, here's Amato, now Santos. We are trying to go balanced because I think we're not going to do so well in the last stage of the half. Camera, oh, good header from... Oh, for goodness sake, it's not the best ball forward. We're wasting chances here. Our left back's really tall, so we're useful. Oh my god, that's a bad mistake. Who messed that up? Pepe Camus just scored, but that's just horrible defending. Who was this? Oh my god, it's Lasker. No, it's not Lasker. Surely it is Lasker. Lasker's made a mistake, and they've got through. My six for six defenders made a mistake in the air. Okay, we've got a free kick. Ventura is going to take it. He's got a good free kick ability on him, actually. Can he score it, though? Oh, he's hit the post. Now Salvador. And Lasker gets there first. Well done. Here's Alvarez. Now Pope. Oh, the pass again. Not great. But here's Suna. Finds Santos. Just don't do a long roll to talk with fine. Alvarez has a chance. Goes through. Save by the keeper. And that might be our best chance in a while. We've got a throw, actually. So Gullian could take these. And he's got long throw on him. But he didn't go for it. Because we don't want to do long throw. Gary Williams. Just wide. We're going for a more attacking approach to the end. And we couldn't get it. So we're going to go for penalties now. And this might take a while. Hmm. This may be one of those things where we're not going to have a good time, but we're going to try our best every way. Let's get going. Kicker sets the penalty. Good penalty. Easy stuff for them. There's nobody there, so I don't know what, who they're taking the penalty to fight off. Oh, well. Alvarez takes the penalty. Oh, it's been saved. We're going to lose, aren't we? Mariah, we need to save Police Pereira. No, he doesn't get it. We're going to go out. We've not even done well at all. Hope to take the next penalty. I can trust Pope, right? I can trust Pope, can't I? Yes. Will Pope with the first penalty for us. We need a save, Pereira. Stop two to for scoring, please. He can't. That's a shame. Luis Santos with the spot kick. Scores. Okay, it's 3-2. We need a save. We really need a save now, Pereira. I trust you to do it. He's gone the wrong way. <laughs> He's gone the wrong way! This is a lot of pressure for a 15-year-old. And he's blazed it over. Well, that's all good. I feel like we should have won this game, but it is what it is. So, at least we could say we took them to a good game, I suppose. So, yeah, we lose some penalties, but it wasn't the end of the world. We were just unfortunate, I think. All right, so we are going to end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys like and share this video and that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. 
Where do you think we're going to finish in this league campaign? Do you think we'll struggle to survive? Or do you think we'll just have one of the finishes we had last year where we just finished mid-table and it's a very boring season where we're just not involved in the relegation fight? I hope it's that kind of season, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's not. Either way, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.